What's up guys, Trail here, better known as Budget Bill, and today I have another stimulus update video for you. Today we are going to be discussing the PEBT program, or also known as the Pandemic EBT program. This is an option to provide assistance for people during these economic times that are dealing with the pandemic. We have a few updates around the August extension, how people on SSI or SSDI can apply for it, and the deadline is approaching to apply as well. If you are not familiar with this, you definitely want to watch this video as it may provide some additional information that could be extra financial assistance for you and your family. But before we get started, if this is your first time to the channel, hey, welcome and glad to have you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can be a part of it. Also, be sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps this channel grow. Now, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. What's up folks and thanks for sticking around. So what exactly is the PEBT or the Pandemic Electronic Benefit Transfer Program? Well, the PEBT program provides temporary food benefits for children who usually get free or reduced price school meals through the National School Lunch Program. These benefits are called Pandemic EBT or the PEBT. And because of the pandemic that we are facing in this country right now, children who are eligible for free or reduced price meals at schools will receive additional food benefits. The PEBT is a new and temporary food benefit to help families buy groceries because the schools have been closed due to the pandemic. So, who is eligible to get a PEBT card? Well, any family with a child in grades K through 12 is eligible for free or reduced price school meals, including children who go to school where meals are free for all students. The PEBT is for all students regardless of citizenship or the immigration status. The only requirement is that your child must be eligible for free or reduced price school meals. Now, these EBT cards are given to help families feed their children for the period of time when schools were supposed to be in session but were closed due to the pandemic. So, because of COVID-19, these benefits have been extended for the month of August in most states. So check your local listings. Now, for families that are already have an EBT card and did not receive the additional benefits added to your card automatically or the amount you received was incorrect, they are asking you to call the benefits number to discuss the problem so that they can get the issue corrected. They understand that clerical errors happen sometimes and want to correct any issues that may exist. Now, if you are unsuccessful with that phone call in correcting the issue, different states have an appeal process that you can fill out an application and submit it online so they can further review your particular issue. That appeal process information should be listed on each state's EBT or SNAP program's website, or the number might be listed on the back of your EBT card. Now, for those of you who have applied for the Pandemic EBT card and denied, if you feel that you should have been approved and you want a further review, you may also request an appeal to thoroughly review your information as well. Now, let's go ahead and discuss the August extensions that were announced recently. Typically, most schools start back up during the month of August. And as the illness cases have been increasing rather rapidly, most schools are either not returning back in August or switching to an online school format. And because of that, that means kids will not be in school to receive their free or reduced lunches. Therefore, more money should be provided on your EBT card for those specific days. For some of the more popular states, such as in California, the amount allowable was increased to a maximum amount for SNAP benefits per household. Californians on the SNAP program should have received up to $365 per child back for the previous four months that children were unable to attend school, as well as any additional monies for the month of August or until children can return back to school. So you definitely want to check those out as well. Now, those of you who are on SSI, Supplemental Security Income, or SSDI, Social Security Disability Insurance, or other Social Security programs, you may also be eligible for the SNAP program. This is information I found on the SSA.gov's website. So if you fall into this category, I suggest you research information on receiving an EBT card in addition to your current benefits. 
This may provide additional assistance for you and your family with purchasing of food. I will include a link down below in the description so you can check that out as well. Moving on to the deadline to apply for a PEBT card. If you don't have a PEBT card and you want to apply for one, you must act quickly because the deadline to apply for one is in late August for some states. However, the deadline has already passed in some other states, such as for Florida and California. It appears that the deadline has already passed to apply for one. But here in Texas, the deadline is August 21st. Now, I say late August because it really depends on what state you live in. School officially starts back at different times in different states, so most of it has to do with when your state schools are starting back again. So be sure to check your local listings. And just to provide some additional background information, I live in the great state of Texas and Governor Greg Abbott announced that Texas Health and Human Services, or HHSC, will provide about $185 million in Emergency Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, food benefits for the month of August as the state continues to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. They receive federal approval from the U.S. Department of Agriculture to extend the maximum allowable amount of SNAP benefits to recipients based on their family's size. So for those of you who are still able to apply for a PEBT card before the deadline in your state, please remember that the program should be retroactive, which means if you apply and are approved, you should receive back pay for the previous months that your children were unable to attend school due to the pandemic, which for most states is March, April, May, June, and now part of August. Now, if you apply and receive an EBT card or already have money still on your EBT card, don't forget that the funds on it do expire within 365 days from when it was issued to you. And I am referring to when the money was actually added to your card. I suggest you spend the money now versus later. That way you don't risk the chance of forgetting and losing out on that free money. Y'all know we love free money, right? Okay guys, this was a lot of information to grasp, so everything I talked about in this video today, I will include links to everything down below in the description. So be sure to like this video and give me a comment down below. That's the best way to support this channel and it doesn't cost you a dime. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell next to it so you can be notified every time I upload new videos. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Be sure to check out my other video and find out how you can enter to win my giveaway. I recently received my first paycheck from YouTube and I decided to give a portion back to the community. You can click on this card up here and I will also include a link down in the description so you can check out the details there. Other than that, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.